Breaking news. Once again, the Court of Appeal in Abuja has dismissed an appeal filed by Philip Shaibo, the embattled deputy governor of Edo State, challenging the primary elections that produced Aswe Yodalo as the People's Democratic Party's PDP candidate for the upcoming governorship election. A three-man panel of justice, led by Justice A.M. Lamido on Monday, unanimously held that Shaibo lacked the legal, the legal right to seek nullification of the primary election. The court affirmed the March 27th judgment of the Federal High Court in Abuja, which refused to invalidate the governorship primary elections conducted by the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. The appellate court awarded a cost of one million against Shaibo and in favor of the respondents. Justice James Omotosho of the Federal High Court had earlier held that Shaibo did not participate in the primary election and therefore lacked the local standee to challenge its outcome. The court noted that Shaibo participated in a primary uh, election in a parallel primary election conducted in his residence by a faction of the party and failed to explore and exhaust the eternal dispute resolution mechanism of the People's Democratic Party before approaching the courts. Shaibu had prayed to the courts to stop Einek from accepting or recognizing Aswe Yodalo as the PDP gubernatorial candidates contending that the primary election was not conducted in compliance with the Electoral Act and the party's constitution. Well, I must say, Philip Shaibo is trying really hard to see that Aswe Yodalo's candidacy is declared invalid, but all his attempts has shown or has proved to be fruitless, all his attempts has not yielded any any fruit in any way. So, if I were Philip Shaibo, I would rest and drop this case by now. This shows that his case is not going anywhere, and as where Iodalo's candidacy stands. And that man has shown and has proved to the Edo people that he is not to be distracted by all these court dragons here and there. Because ever since he won that primary elections, I believe Aswe Yodalo won that election uh, fair and square. He won the election fair and square. No partiality, no cheating, nothing, nothing. He was voted in and was endorsed by delegates to go ahead and be the party's flag bearer. Yes, we know he has Obasiki's um, support, but then the people of Edo State seems to be in support of Aswe Yodalo's candidacy. So I don't see any, any uh, complication in regards to Aswe Yodalo's candidacy ahead of the elections. So all these things are just mere distractions. But Philip Shaibu should learn that he has lost the battle. He should learn to understand when he has lost the battle and when to stop fighting. This fighting will not lead him anywhere. He should let the electorate decide who they want. He should let the people of Edo State decide who they want. Philip Shaibu has his own candidate in the person of um, Senator Mondi Okpebolo, the APC gubernatorial candidate. Philip Shaibo can as well support the APC candidate because, yes, he's an APC member. If he sees it fits, he can tell the other people to support uh, Mondi Okwebolo and leave them to decide who they want. I think that is how it should be. But for now, Aswe Yodalo's candidacy remains, um, you know, valid. It remains unnullified. It is still there. He will contest the elections. And by the grace of God, let the winner be announced.
at the end of the day. Let the Edo people decide who they want. But now, it seems that, uh, you know, Asui Yodalo seems to have more uh, winning chances ahead of the elections. Because aside all these distractions, he seems to be very, very focused alongside the Labour Party candidate, Mr. Olumide Akpata. Yes, and also the APC candidate, Senator Monde Okpebolo. They should focus ahead of the race and stop unnecessary you know, distractions that would hinder them from getting to where they want to get to. So, as for Philip Shaibo, the courts on several occasions has rejected his bid to nullify uh, Asu Yodalo's candidacy. Then he should understand that it's, the battle is over. He should learn to respect the court's decision and stop approaching the courts because they will keep on trashing his prayers. They will reject his, his suit to nullify Yodalo's candidacy. And this would not lead him anywhere. He's probably running in circles. And he keeps on running back to the spot that he started off in the first place. It's not taking him anywhere. Yes, he has declared his intent that he's no longer the PDP. He's no longer a PDP member. That is good and fine. He has decamped to the APC. That is good and fine. He has pledged his loyalty to um, uh, Adam Soshomole. That is good and fine. I mean, everybody has to move on at some point. Since he is no longer comfortable with the People's Democratic Party and with Obasiki due to uh, the, the treatments melted on him, according to him, that he was unfairly treated, he wasn't given the chance to rule, I guess that was why he decamped. Had it been Obasiki supported his um, governorship ambition, all these things wouldn't have been happening in the first place had it been Obasiki supported him from the beginning. So this feud, these dragons here and there, it's because Obasiki did not support him right from the beginning. Obasiki had told Nigerians, the people of Edo State, that Philip Shaibu is very desperate. He's a desperate man. But I think we've seen where his desperation has led him to finally jumping back to the APC, and he's there. So let's watch how everything will play out in Edo State. But for now, Asu Yodalo's candidacy remains intact. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section.